So the NVIDIA RTX 3060 may be the first gaming desktop graphics card to support resizable bar and many laptops featuring the NVIDIA RTX 30 series laptop GPUs also support this as well on the NVIDIA side and even AMD's Radeon RX 6000 series supports this technology. It would only be right if NVIDIA's professional level graphics cards supported resizable bar and with its recent discoveries, RTX a6000 supports it as well. Now Redditor Millennia 3D has discovered this feature and in short resizable bar removes the tight restriction on the amount of data that can flow between the CPU and the GPU memory and can sometimes allow for substantial performance increases. We showed that in a video we've done recently. I'll hit that link up in the corner if you want to see that. Now resizable bar grew in popularity and recognition when AMD implemented smart access memory when you paired a Ryzen 5000 series CPU and a 500 series chipset with an RX 6000 series GPU. The biggest differentiator here between AMD's implementation and NVIDIA's is that NVIDIA's support for rebar or resizable bar is that it's supported on many more platforms. So the RTX A6000 is the only Ampere card with the full GA102 GPU with 10,752 CUDA cores. The amount of memory on this card dwarfs any other RTX 30 series card with 48 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. Now, one reason we could not see GDDR6X memory is that it's not available in such high capacities. Now, the resizable bar technology will be great for this amount of memory and is available with the stock V BIOS. As for the rest of the RTX 30 series cards, the wait for resizable bar is short with compatible V BIOSes being made by Nvidia and Nvidia and its partners alike are expected to see a release of compatible V BIOSes for the Founders Editions and custom cards in March. Now it'll be interesting to see how Nvidia handles the rollout of these V BIOSes as it seems reminiscent of a move by AMD a couple of years ago with the RX 5600 XT and its beefed up BIOS. Now thankfully this isn't relying on vendors using good enough spec memory for it to work so it should go much smoother. Now the Nvidia RTX A6000 is a card that is most definitely not for everyone with a price tag that reflects that. The A6000 costs $4,650, which is three times the MSRP of the Ultra Enthusiast level card in the GeForce lineup, the RTX 3090. But hey, it's only 2x the street price. And for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.